Welcome to our lecture online. Here's another example of how to use the comparison test to see if we can integrate this improper integral. So going back to what we know, if we have a function that is equal to y equals 1 over x, we know that this, when it's integrated from 1 to infinity, the error in the need does not converge, it's undefined. So we also know that if we integrate 1 over x to the n power dx, for n greater than 1, then it does converge. So that's kind of the limit at that point. So what we can do is we can compare the integrand 1 over x to the n and compare it to 1 over x and if it's smaller than that we know it converges and that will be the case for n being greater than 1. So what we're going to do here is we're going to compare this to 1 over x and see what happens. So 1 plus 2e to the minus x over x for all values from x equals 1 to infinity. Is that greater or smaller than 1 over x? Okay, let's see here. This number here will always be positive. So we have 1 plus a positive number over x. How does that compare to 1 over x? Well, this numerator will always be bigger than 1. If it's always bigger than 1, we know that this on the left side will be greater than 1 over x. Since we already know that the integral of 1 over x from 1 to infinity does not converge, that means this integral from 1 to infinity will also not converge. So therefore, by simply looking at the comparison test, we know that that will diverge. And that's how it's done.